Hello friends, 758 days of war between Russia and Ukraine. In the southern war zone on Kherson front, Ukrainian presence remains at Antonovsky Briz and Krinky. On Zaporizhia front, in Uriko sector, heavy battle continues for Robotin. While Verbuf, Russian army advanced from the village towards north and west. Gulyaipol no changes after fall of Mirnoy. As far as Rimivki salient is concerned, no changes, no ground operation from either side since four odd weeks. In north, on Kharkov Belgorod Sumi front lines, situation is stable. The cross border fire and ground operations have reduced to minimum. Though Ukrainians are still bringing their reserves and arms and ammunitions. On Kharkov front, towards Kupian Swato direction, Tabaifka's situation is unclear. After its fall, it seems that Ukrainians have regained some of the positions. Sinkivka, no changes. Krimina Liman direction, Russian army continues moving towards Turney direction. Coming to east, in North Soledar Sivas direction, fight is on towards southeast of Belgorod. Bakhmut Bain Laz no changes. Krasnoye Ukrainians still hold little bit of western part of the Vilas, while fight continues for Bogdan Novaka. In southern flank, Klishivka no changes. Odivka Russians have been advancing and still continuing their offensive operations starting from Burdichi, Udlovka and Tonenko where they have advanced all along and also they have advanced towards Semyonovka. In north, Russian offensive operations along with Ukrainian's counter-offensive continues towards Novokali Novo while in southern part the fight is on in the northwest of Nevelsky. Pirovomaisky no changes. Marinka west of it Russians have made again some gains towards Georgievka while in north towards Krasno Gorovka no changes. In south Novo Mikhailovka fight is on and Russians made some advance towards northern side as per ISW Poveda no changes. Palestine Israel Middle East IDF continues its operation in and around Shifa Hospital. Hezbollah launched more than 10 rockets inside Israel, while Islamic resistance in Iraq claims to have hit a power plant in Tel Aviv. Houthis have confirmed that Russian and Chinese ships can freely enter Gulf of Aden and cross Red Sea. This is their attitude since beginning of the war. In fact, Western ships have been reportedly have claimed that their ships had Chinese or Russian crew and thus tried to avoid Houthis missiles. Finally, what Irish Prime Minister had to say when he was in USA in front of Biden and after returning back, he has offered to resign. He said, we see our history in the eyes of Palestinians as a story of homelessness, deprivation, a rejected national identity, forced migration, discrimination and now hunger. My salute to him. In the meantime, one of the Slovenian intellectual and so-called leftists has said that we need to give Ukraine nuclear power. Look at him. Empty boxes make more noises. In the meantime, in India, the chief minister of New Delhi was arrested yesterday by the central government that he is corrupt. In fact, that's a bogus charges. And this is a second chief minister being arrested before the general election in India. And this is how the dictatorship or fascist regime acts, revenges and punishes opponents. As far as the people are concerned, some part of it feel very happy that their leaders 
their government is very strong not realizing that this strong this power center is 100% anti people well that brings an end to my talk today friends see you tomorrow thank you